First of all, let's say the U.S. dollar has lost 85% of its value since the 70s. And when the dollar decoupled from gold, and the government seems bent on continuing that tradition. From now until after the election, the government can print as much money as they want. The last time they did that, inflation went up 9%. Gold is the one asset that is proven to withstand inflation. It's a biblical currency, 5,000 years. You can invest in gold with noblegoldinvestment.com. That's www.noblegoldinvestment.com. And if you it, you will also get this 24 carat, uh, one quarter of an ounce gold standard coin for free. A 24 carat, one quarter of an ounce gold standard coin they will send you for free. Simply go to noblegoldinvestment.com now. Noblegoldinvestments.com. Go there now. The only gold company that we can trust. Guys, set up a gold IRA. Find out all about it at noblegoldinvestment.com. On Monday, a devastating landslide wrecked havoc on luxurious residents in the Palos Verdes Peninsula in Southern California. The aftermath revealed a chaotic scene of collapsed roofs, shattered walls, tilted chimneys, and precarious decks hanging over an adjacent canyon, the Associated Press has reported. The landslide, which took place in the Rolling Hills Estates, a city in Los Angeles County, commenced on Saturday with the emergence of cracks in structures and on the ground. As a result, 12 homes were deemed unsafe and immediately red-tagged, prompting residents to evacuate within a mere 20 minutes. The destruction escalated progressively over the weekend and extended into Monday. The exact cause of the landslide remains unknown. However, the presence of a fissure among the affected homes raised suspicions that the heavy rainfall experienced during the previous winter might have played a role, as suggested by Han, an official involved in the situation. The Palos Verdes Peninsula has witnessed damaging landslide in the past. Located on the county's south coast, it towers above the Pacific Ocean, offering its residents breathtaking views of the ocean and the greater Los Angeles area. In a surprising move, Turkey has announced its willingness to withdraw its objections to Sweden's ascension to NATO, clearing the path for the Nordic nation to join the Western Military Alliance. NATO Secretary General Jen Stoltenberg disclosed that Turkey had agreed to support Sweden's bid for NATO membership by presenting the matter for a parliamentary vote. In exchange, Turkey secured a commitment from Sweden to assist in revitalizing Turkey's pursuit of European Union membership, as well as deeper cooperation on security matters, the Associated Press has reported. Now, following discussions with the Turkish President Erdogan and the Swedish Prime Minister Ulf Christensen, Stoltenberg hailed the agreement. Additionally, both countries have committed to enhancing trade and investment between them. Hungary, the only other NATO member that had expressed reservations about Sweden joining, is also expected to withdraw its opposition. The Hungarian foreign minister remarked on Tuesday that the ratification of Sweden's NATO membership had now become a mere, quote, technical matter. Notably, Erdogan has chosen to remain unusually silent since the announcement of the agreement, refraining from commenting on the reasons behind his apparent change of stance. The speed at which Turkey's parliament will address the issue remains uncertain and is yet to be determined. Federal regulators announced on Tuesday that Bank of America has been found to have violated consumer financial protection laws by engaging in practices such as charging excessive fees, withholding credit card rewards, and opening fraudulent accounts, all to the detriment of its customers. Consequently, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau has ordered Bank of America to pay over $100 million in restitution to affected customers and $90 million in penalties. Additionally, the Office of the Comptroller of the Currency has imposed $60 million in fines on the bank, CNN has reported. As the second largest bank in the United States, 
with a customer base of 68 million individuals and small businesses, Bank of America's actions have raised concerns drawing comparisons to the Wells Fargo scandal from the previous decade, which involved unauthorized account openings on a massive scale. In a statement, CFBP Director Rohit Chopa emphasized that Bank of America had wrongfully withheld credit card rewards, engaged in fee double dipping, and opened accounts without customer consent. He described these practices as illegal and damaging to customer trust. The CFPP aims to put an end to such practices across the banking system.